plaintiff, Candace Ruffin, was engaged to the defendant's son before he passed away. Candace claims after his death, her life went downhill because the defendant cleaned out her bank account and evicted her and her children from their home. Candace is suing for mortgage payments and emotional distress. Defendant Lena Boswell says after her son's death, Candace avoided her phone calls and refused to talk to her. Lena says she was the executor of her son's will, and that's why she had access to the bank account and took ownership of his home. Lena's countersuing for emotional distress. All right, ma'am, you're suing your deceased fiance's mother for $3,500 for mortgage payments and emotional distress? Yes. You're countersuing for $3,000 for emotional distress? Yes, sir. Start with you. Um, well, Your Honor, um, when I first met Ms. Boswell, I loved her. Loved her to death, thought that she was the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. When did you meet her? I met her five years ago. Me and Terrence were together, which was her, her son. son. When he passed away in March, she, my life went down the drain. She took all the money out of our bank. She evicted me out of my home that me and my four kids lived in for how four years. How much money was it? Um, I don't know exactly how much we had, but I know how much I had in there, per se. How much? At, at least $3,000. Mm -hmm. At least 3000 I was saving money for a brand new car. Said my daughter was turning 16. He was helping me save. You didn't have him enjoying accounts? Your we name had wasn't a, on it? Well, no, my name wasn't on it because of my credit. Gotcha. My credit were, you know, but we, mm -hmm. my money went in there as long as his money, too. Mm -hmm. um, Did you I had try to, and explain that to her? She, from the day one, she, when he passed away, they came over when I was at work. They were taking items out of my home. The first time she did something like that, did you call her and talk with her? Yes, and well, she actually came over and said, I can take anything out of here, I'll please. She just showed up? How many days after the funeral? Maybe two days. Okay, without telling you she was coming? No. Never said, I'm coming to get some of uh, Terrence's things? No. Just showed up? Yes. And she never told you about the bank uh, withdrawals? No. I object, Your When you first found out, what did you do? I was upset. Mm -hmm. I, I found out because we paid our house payments through mm -hmm. the phone. Mm -hmm. My number and his number was set up to call automatically and you, mm -hmm. you push five and, and it mm -hmm. comes directly out the bank account. He had passed away March 5th. The house payments were due March 15th. Mm -hmm. um, the third, I got a letter stating that the bank that it was a, a freeze on the account that they didn't collect any funds, called the bank. Um, she had already went to the bank and mm -hmm. took it to probate where I couldn't get no information. I couldn't. That's what I'm saying. When you first found out about your bank account, did you call her? No. Why? Because she had already came over and, and made it very clear that she, that she, I guess, deserved everything, that I didn't deserve anything. Why are you saying you guess? Why didn't you say to her, look, the money you took, 3,000 of it was mine. I, you know what, actually, I never could even hold a conversation with Ms. So Boswell. when she came to the house, she was angry with you? No, she was very phony with me. Okay, so why didn't you ask her then? Did I did. You say did you say, why are you taking the things? I need them. Yes. What did she say? It was my son's. Okay. Well, let me let you speak, ma'am. Your Honor, I stand before you as a grieving mother. It's a shame that I have to go through this and still grieve the death of my son. I didn't take anything from her, Your Honor. She is lying on so tell every, me what happened. every account. I made several attempts to go to see her and talk to her because we had business. How long after the funeral did you all begin discussing business? About two months. When did you first come to the house to get things? It was probably about a month and a half after he passed. Because oh, okay. I wanted... So you came to get him before you discussed it with her? 
because I wanted to, well, he authorized me to take things I understand things all of that. What I'm talking about is common decency here. Yes, I made several attempts to call her, Your Honor. Okay, and, and she wouldn't and call connect you back? With her. She, she claimed that there was something wrong with her phone. So for six, why don't you think she would call you back for six weeks? She admitted that she was avoiding my calls, Your Honor. Why? Well, she said that w when we showed up and we told her that... No, 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 because you've just confused me. You've just confused me. You said when we did catch her, she said she had been avoiding my calls because we had showed up. Yet you told me you never got a hold of her, and that's why you showed up. So let's try it again. You called for six weeks? Yes, off and on. And she never spoke to you? No. And do you know why she wasn't speaking to you? I'm at a loss. Were you friendly with each other? When? In the beginning, yes. During, I'm talking about all the way up through the day of the funeral, you were still friendly? Yes. So that, what do you think happened between the day of the funeral and the time she stopped answering your calls? I don't know what happened, Your Honor. Did you ask? I didn't ask her until I had the opportunity to see her those uh, few months later. And what did she say later. when you said, why what? haven't you returned my calls? I've been trying to reach you. Well, when I had that opportunity to see her, finally she said she was avoiding my calls because she knew that we were going to come and ask her to leave the premises. Okay, gotcha. So you all couldn't have been getting along that well if she felt that you were going to put her out time she talked to you. All right, so what did happen? She, um, after the funeral, I was at work and she did call me and ask if she could come over to wash clothes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, yeah, the kids are there. You know, they, they'll let you in. They, she had a key, mm -hmm. used her son's key to get in. So my kids were there and she comes in like she wanted to wash, never washed the load, left the washing powder there. Mm -hmm. When they came in, they were grabbing. My daughter is... Okay. Now, this is how long after the funeral? A week after. Okay, you say one week, she says six weeks. Got it. Now, um, why are you suing her for mortgage payments? Because she had access to the bank account. She, when I, because I always made the payments. And I felt like after, when she came over and said, like, I'm taking the house, this is a good investment, is what she came and said. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, you know, what about the payments that I made? Because mm -hmm. to me, that was our money. Mm -hmm. You know, I that got was you. You our told money. Me, so you told me that. By, mm -hmm. the third, by the third payment, I couldn't make any more payments. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get no money. She left us with absolutely okay. nothing. You want her to give you I two left. mortgage payments? The two that I made after Terrence passed away. Made them to the mortgage company? Yes. How much? Eleven hundred. If they were per the month or together, five fifty. Okay, a month. Eleven to five fifty for two months. What months were those? March and April. Okay. Did you stay there for March and April? Yes, sir. Then why do you think you should get your money back? Because it, I, I, if I would have knew Judge Mathis that she was going to kick me and my four kids out, I, I would have kept the money. But you would have had to pay somebody for March and April, yes, right? Yes, I would have. But it would have been somewhere where I knew I was stable. Okay. But me and my kids would have been You would have had stable. to pay, though. That's yes. the point. All right. What do you want to say, ma'am? I, I only enacted my rights as the um, executor of his estate, and I obtained that status in July. I never intended to just put her and her children out on the street. That's not who I am. Even my son was going to have her removed from the home. But did you give her notice? Did you say, okay, you all got a few months now. Yes, sir. You yes, did? sir, I did. When, when did I went there that? in, it, went, it must have been about the beginning of June, my daughter and I went there to the house and we told her that ultimately the house is probably going to go to us by us being the natural mm -hmm. heirs and she wasn't married to him. Okay. Now, so you told her in June Yes. that she had until July? Yes. That's mm -hmm. what she agreed to. You didn't think? That she should have gotten a little more than one month for her and her kids? Four or of them. They had their money in an account with your son. Did she work? Yes. I don't know about you don't her working know or anything. You don't know whether she worked. Yes. You don't know whether she worked. Ma'am? I don't know whether she had okay, a job or so not. Okay, so you don't, let me get the picture. You don't know whether she worked. And she has four children. 
stayed with your son. And you gave her one month notice, took all the things. She could have been totally impoverished on her last leg, on her way to the shelter because she had no food, no clothing, and living on the edge without knowing what her condition is. You come and say you got one month. Get on before you got to get out of here. Your Honor, mm -hmm. that's not what I said to her. I, I didn't say she had one month. I didn't say she had one month. I was willing to give her as long as she needed to move out of the house, Your Honor. Well, where did we get to? I, I was willing to give her on. as much time as she hold needed. hold on. You just told me. No, I said, Your July. Honor, she agreed to a month. She agreed that she could be out of the house okay. within a month. You didn't ask her to leave in July. I asked her to prepare to move. When? I didn't give her a time frame. Oh. I told her, if you're going to stay here, uh -huh. you're going to pay all the utilities, you're going to pay all the bills, uh -huh. and you're going to pay rent. She decided, she said. No, 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 that's not what you told. You're telling me two different things. You just said you told her you were giving her time to move. And now you're telling me you let her know that if, if, you're, going, if you're going to stay here, that means you can. So which was it? I'm just trying to get to what she's getting to. And that is that the assets were mixed, that she stayed with your son, I had guess. four children she had to care for. And you took all the money and gave her one month notice to get out. That's what she says. And that's what I interpret you as saying as well. Now, the mortgage money that you want back, however, March and April, you stayed there. So you can't get money back because you stayed there. Now, what's your emotional distress for? My emotional distress is I had to send no money. She left me with no money, um, just nothing. No car. She took all the cars. They took everything. They was taking electronics out of my house. They was taking hats. They was taking things that I brought him. They don't know what I paid for. They don't know what we came and what we paid for it together. They was just taking things. They never took nothing when I was there. Do you think her son would have wanted her to do that? No. When she got this, Judge Mathis, she filed it? this mm -hmm. on the 5th of July. She gave me a, a three-day notice Let's see it. 20 days later. No, she said she gave you the choice. I did give and her you choice, decided to leave. I did give her the choice, Your Honor. Three-day notice to leave the premises. You wouldn't have to give her a notice to leave, eviction notice, if she had already agreed to it, ma'am. 3000 from you. How does she owe you, ma'am? Your Honor, I feel really disrespected. I feel... By her? What is she yes, doing? Yes. She, you know what? She has called my daughter. She's disrespected them. She disrespected his house. You. What does she do to you? She has disrespected me by taking me okay. through this. Taking you through While what? I'm trying to agree. While taking you through what? Taking me through all of this, Your Honor. What, I the never, lawsuit? I never the meant lawsuit? to harm anybody in Ma'am, why well, you have to tell me what she's taking you through? Are you talking about the lawsuit? Yes. What well, she should Pain have. And she suffering. should. Your case is dismissed. Have a good day. Yours is dismissed also. I just think that she was wrong from the beginning. She um, she never really cared about me and my kids. She act like she did. She took everything from us. She left me with absolutely nothing. And I'm glad the judge dismissed her case.